Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Let's Learn This Together. And in this quick tip tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can get the keyboard input for every key on your keyboard. Now in Game Maker, there are a lot of constants that Game Maker has built in, such as the add, alt, any key, all these F keys, stuff like that. But there are some keys that just are not on there, such as the subtract key, the equal key, there might be some semicolons, question marks, anything like that. Some of those keys are just not available on there. And if you try to access them like this, it's actually not going to come out correctly. It's going to give you the wrong key because this or function doesn't work for these. But there is a quick and easy way around that. Game Maker has what's called a keyboard last key, which is a built in piece of data, and it tracks what the last key was pressed. I've got a little setup here just to draw the last key. And using this, you can save the value and then you can just input that specific number value. So let's check it out. If I press J, that number is actually 74. If I press the equal key, it's 187. So that means when you're doing this, you can actually just do keyboard check and then you can put in 187 specifically. And that's all those constants are anyway, is just names for numbers. It's easier to remember them that way. And you could also make your own constant or a macro like this saying, well, this is equal key and it equals 187. And now you could just say equal key and it would do the exact same thing. So that's a quick and easy way to figure out which key and which combination you're doing there. And so this works really well for combining keys as well. So if we ever wanted to get the plus and make the, make the player actually type in plus or check to see that they pressed it, we could say something like if keyboard check VK left shift, I think that's what it is. We'll just do shift and we'll do an and keyboard check 187 since we know that's the equal key. And then we can just show message plus. So by using and figuring out which one the equal sign is, we can now do this. Pressing equals 187, shift is 16. If I hold shift and then press the equal sign, there we go. We now have that special key inside of there. So if you're doing input for a game where you want them to have to press that to do, you know, whatever it is, this is a quick and easy way to figure out exactly which key code is for everything on your keyboard. I hope that was helpful. If so, leave a like. If you want to see something specific from me, leave a comment or find me on Twitter. Subscribe for future videos and I'll catch you in the next one. As I always say, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. A huge thank you to all of the awesome people who support me over on Patreon. Their names are on the screen now and every dollar pledged helps me create more awesome content. You can support me for as little as $1 a month and get access to exclusive perks like my Discord server, your name in the credits, early access to my YouTube videos and courses, and more. Check it out at patreon.com slash letslearnthistogether.com or find the link in the description below and become a patron today.